All right, in today's lesson here, we're going to look at the integral of tan to the power of 5x dx. So in tackling this problem here, you want to know, uh, remember, I should say that the tan squared of x is equal to secant squared x minus 1. And as we saw in some previous examples I had done, uh, we know how to integrate this. So let's go ahead and uh, kind of break this apart so we can do that substitution here. This is going to be the integral of rewriting this as tan cubed of x times tan squared of x dx. Then we're going to go ahead and get rid of that tan squared of x and write this as secant squared x minus 1 dx. And uh, integration, you can apply that linearly, so that'll distribute and break apart. So this will end up being the integral of tan cubed x secant squared x dx minus the integral of tan cubed x dx. Okay, so uh, taking a look at this here, if you look at this expression right here, recall that the derivative uh, with, with respect to x of tan of x is equal to secant squared of x. So if I go to take the derivative of tan to the power of 4x, that's just going to be 4 tan cubed of x, and then chain rule kicks in, giving us secant squared of x. So you can see with disregarding the uh, 4 in front, we have our antiderivative here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a quarter in front. Therefore, the integral of this expression here is equal to 1 quarter tan to the power of for x minus, again, do the same trick here. I'm going to go ahead and break this apart and write this as tan of x times tan squared of x dx. Continuing this along here, I end up having my 1 quarter tan to the power of 4x minus the integral of tan x Go ahead and substitute that secant squared x minus 1 into the expression. And now we have 1 quarter tan to the power of 4x. Distributing this, you get the integral of tan x secant squared x dx plus the integral of tan x dx. So continuing this on here, um, I now have to find the integral of this expression. But again, a quick observation will show you that if I go to take the derivative with respect to x of, let's say, tan squared of x, uh, that's going to give you 2 tan x. And then chain rule kicks in, and we end up getting derivative of the inside. In this case, it's tan of x is secant squared of x. So again, just like before, disregarding that 2 in front, we've got the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and put a half in front there. So this will be tan 1 quarter tan to the power of 4. Acting on x minus, this will be 1 half tan squared of x plus the integral of tan x dx. And finishing things off here, this is going to be 1 quarter, the tan 4x minus 1 half tan squared of x. And the integral of tan of x, and I need to find an expression whose derivative uh, becomes tan of x here, and that's just going to be plus the ln of absolute value of cos of x. However, if I leave it in this form, the derivative of ln of the cos of x is going to be 1 over cos of x, and then chain rule again is kicked in, and this becomes um, negative sine of x, and then we are off by a minus sign here. So I'm going to go have to go ahead and change that to a minus, and then you have plus some constant value, okay? So it turns out that the integral of tan to the power of 5 of x is 1 quarter tan to the power of 4 of x minus 1 half tan squared acting on x minus the ln of the absolute value of cos of x plus some constant value k. All right, I thought I'd go through this quick question here just showing you integrating uh, more trig expressions. Thank you.